Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Leo, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Leo, what do we have for you? What do we have for Leo? Okay. So Leo, we are connecting in this reading for you with someone who might, maybe you're dealing here with someone who might have commitment issues. It's like, um, I'm getting very strongly that this person, uh, like uh, they might be playing mind games with you. You might feel that they like to keep their options open. You know, I feel this is someone here who, uh, you might feel that they made you feel that you are an option, not a priority. That's like they are not prioritizing this connection. The thing is, Leo here, that we have a that you are protected. You have spiritual protection. You might be into crystals. Also, you might be seeing four, four, four. What I am getting very strongly that rejection. It's a divine protection. Very strongly visible here. We have that kind of energy because I'm feeling very strongly that you met someone here Leo and at the very beginning it felt like a fairy tale everything just was great this person was attentive this person would give was giving you attention they were coming with initiative they wanted to kind of see you uh, most of the time they were in touch it feels like you know it felt really 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 good I see that you were dating this person but within time, it feels like at the end, this person might have rejected you. We have this energy of being left out in the cold. They might have made you feel that way. And I feel that within time, it's like you felt more and more lonely in this connection. And this person made you feel unwanted. Mm hmm. And we have this major energy of hidden. This person had secrets and they were very careful here for you to not um, notice certain things about them. It's like I feel this is someone who was, yeah, who maybe, you know, they were texting other people here, Leo. Maybe they were just, you know, in touch with others. Maybe you know i feel that at the end of the day the main thing here is that they that they didn't prioritize this connection they made you feel that you are an option we have energy of player so this that indicates that you dealt here with someone who who has a tendency to be very insecure but at the same time very childish and very immature this person plays mind games, they are in and out, hot and cold. And when they are interested, wow, they'll give you all the attention. And that's what I was getting with this card. Everything was fine. And suddenly, you know, when the connection started to evolving, this person, I feel like they were starting losing. It's like they were starting losing interest. That's how maybe they kind of came across and they made you feel that way. But it feels here that rejection it's a divine protection leo mm -hmm. what we have here because we have obstacles change for the, yeah it's like you see you might be receiving signs look synchronicities re repeated numbers feathers we have further here protection double energy of protection very strong ancestor ancestry it's coming forward here with these cards for you leo so it feels like your ancestors, your spiritual guides, again, spiritual protection, spiritual guides, your guardian angel, it's really, really kind of um, protecting you. You might be seeing, again, 444, 555, 222, 1111 um, feathers as well. I'm getting butterflies, repeated numbers. You might be divine feminine or you are dealing with divine feminine planning chaser yeah this is someone who who created chaser runner dynamic and i feel that you were planning for the future with this person 
and I, I'm getting very strongly here that you know you were giving this person so many chances, ch chances, excuse me, and it's not that I'm not getting this energy of being in denial, but you just, I feel that you wanted to kind of you saw that um, we can work this out, that kind of energy, and I feel that you really were motivated to kind of you know to work on this situation, but there was no feedback this person this person wasn't interested at some point of of kind of you know working through certain issues that might have occurred during this connection we have changed cycles yeah this person created blockages delays obstacles but there will be a change which is very beautiful it feels like you know you're closing the certain cycle uh, also, there is something here that changed about you, Leo. I'm getting very strongly, and it feels like uh, you're going to meet, or maybe you've already, maybe you are in touch with someone, maybe you met someone new, and you know, you you are ready to mingle, if I can say it that way, right? And um, and I'm seeing here that indeed yeah for some of you it might be because that you are dating a new person or you are about to meet a new individual but i see dates coffee date to be as to be precise it feels like maybe you are a coffee lover but what i am getting very strongly <laughs> i'm getting very strongly here um that you might meet this person in the shop can be a case or like a coffee shop <laughs> maybe this person w will work in a coffee uh, in a in a kind of not in a coffee in a, gosh this is awful isn't it I mean that English of mine <laughs> in a in a coffee shop that's what I mean um, but there's something to do with coffee maybe you bond maybe you bond over coffee you both coffee lovers and there is something really kind of you know that that uh, that will kind of you know bring both of you together it can be a case of course it can be a case but. Um, I'm getting to be precise. I feel that someone here will ask you out and, or ask you for a date in a sense of, oh, are you free? Can we, can we grab some coffee and, and have a chat, you know? Shall we spend some time together? You know, something like this. But I feel that you went through a lot, obviously, especially with this oracle cards that they show us a lot. Okay, let's see, Leo. Let's see. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for you? We have a Ten of Wands. I see you being very, very um, busy. You might have a lot on your plate. There is something here that might be indeed draining. You have so many responsibilities. And it feels like you are carrying here a heavy, heavy burden. And, and again, Ten of Wands is a very kind of solitude energy. And it feels like you are by your own. There is no, there's like no, something's, been very very challenging and difficult and it's tiring and it feels like no one is helping or they're making things far more difficult whereas they should be more supportive here or it should be like a team work regarding particular matter but with the night of cups it feels like things will become easier uh, this is like a good news are coming here on the horizon you know so you receive uh, some sort of good news the situation will improve that's what I'm seeing very strongly. And with the Ten of Wands, it feels like, you know, you are very, very nearly uh, releasing this burden here, burden here, Leo. We have Five of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm getting siblings. There might be a case here that there is a situation for some of you that, you know, um, your other sibling is also involved and with the five of pentacles it feels like I'm getting particularly you uh, you might feel being left out in a cold with no support no understanding and it might come there's something about siblings or another person who is involved in that situation we have the star you might be dealing with Aquarius Leo and we have two of wands yeah there is some sort of kind of clash when it comes to this responsibility 
for some of you it might be a case that you are carrying here um, for someone and uh, there is a relative who also is involved in this and it's like you should sh and you've agreed that you will, you're going to share a responsibility together but it feels like you are doing a majority of the work and I don't feel that you are particularly happy about it with the star I feel that there is something about healing involved in that situation or you are giving this 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 uh, whole matter a little bit more time but um it doesn't change the fact that I feel that there is a disagreement between you and this person this is very specific very specific situation so because there is a clash of personalities regarding this particular matter Someone here is missing you with this five of pentacles as well. And with the stars, it's like they want to heal this connection, but this is also energy of protection. So we have a double confirmation here, actually triple confirmation, because uh, we had also oracle cards that were indicating, especially with the feather energy, that you are protected. But stars suggest that your, la your matters are under a lucky star. So you can, at the end, you can uh, be reassured that something here will be a resolve to your satisfaction, Leo. Okay? Someone wants to kill something with you as well. That's what I am getting. Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands. And the Lovers. Okay. that's why this energy is showing up here all right so you might be dealing with gemini leo um you can expect this person if there is no contact situation between the two of you the person that came through here through this oracle cards okay um this kind of this person who might have commitment issues i'm getting very strongly with the eight of wands this is someone who wants to be in touch with you they want communication they want to talk they want to have a conversation queen of wands with the lovers it feels like this person puts you in a third party situation at some point mm -hmm. and that's what kind of this whole kind of energy was indicating that they didn't prioritize this connection because queen of wands next to the lovers yes it might indicate that this person at some point got distracted um and they started to pay to kind of you know um focusing um focusing their um, attention on someone else can i say it that way i don't know if it's a proper english sorry but <laughs> it's like they started to um di direct their focus they started to direct their focus on someone else but Queen of Wands also can indicate a third party as, a, as an energy, meaning that this person at the time, they prioritize something else over this connection. For instance, maybe they were focused on career, finances, lifestyle, family, friends, relatives, um, habits as well, you know. But uh, the lovers, it's a kind of a love related situation. It also can indicate a choice between two people. And I feel this person, uh, got distracted and they might have even uh, decided to go a completely different direction with someone else I'm getting that they will reach out king of pentacles I see you being very stable though very balanced minding your own business being completely in control yeah it's like nothing here will distract you I feel that you are very busy. You're trying to build some sort of kind of form of stability here as well when it comes to 3D everyday life. And it might involve also, you know, finances. I'm seeing you being very busy, Leo, very busy. And it's like you have your professional life or something that you truly care for that it's represented by this pentacle energy and those other responsibilities. It's like you are constantly, you know, you need to be there, but you know, and you're looking at your watch or, or your phone and you're saying, okay, I need to go over there this time. 
and this, this and that. You know, it's just being very, very busy. I'm seeing you being very, very busy, Leo. I see also that you might have been disappointed here uh, by someone. It might be a Gemini energy. I'm getting very strongly with the lovers. Look, we have an eight of wands. We have a five of pentacles and the lovers. I'm getting very strong kind of um, feminine energy. And, and I feel that there was some sort of conversation and it was quite, um, let's say, a passionate conversation you had with this person. And with the Five of Pentacles, it feels like, you know, um, there was something that it didn't make you happy about this whole situation. It might be a friend, it might be a colleague, relative, you know, um, family member but um, something wasn't right. Yeah, 10 of wands, this person was incredibly draining. That's what I'm getting very strongly. And I feel that at some point you just said how you feel, how you've been feeling about it and, and, uh, and, and you know, and you vocalize your concerns here. I can tell you one thing that this person it's it's thinking about you they want to heal the situation it wouldn't surprise me that you know this person would kind of reach out and try to kind of soften the whole situation meaning you know trying to make amends or even kind of invite you um, I'm seeing some sort of kind of gift as well yeah we have so many messages for you here Leah showing up Let's see love life. That's very interesting with this energy here. Show me love life for Leo, please. Nine of Wands. Eight of Cups. Page of Swords. King of Wands, so we have a Queen of Wands and King of Wands, we have a match. The Sun and King of Cups. Strength your energy, Leo. You might be dealing with another Leo. Well, look, we have very strong your energy. Gosh, you are completely in control here. So, you have someone who is spying on you, Leo with this page of swords they are incredibly curious about you what's going on in your life what you're up to if you are involved with someone else this is someone who is yes who's trying to to figure out what's going on what you're up to if you have social media this person is actively following your activity on social media if not, and for instance, you have like a common friend, this is someone who's asking from, like, let's say that they go out or they met someone, you know, they're having a normal conversation. And then like between, you know, sentences and words, this person will ask, oh, you know, have you heard, uh, um, do you know what's going on with Leo? You know, like just every, kind of, you know, random, this person, randomly, they will just mention you kind of because at the end of the day they really want to know what's going on this person walked away with the eight of cups mm -hmm. nine of wands yeah this is i you don't trust this individual because nine of wands is this card of wounded warrior that represents a wounded warrior which means that this person at some point they emotionally hurt you that's why you are putting very strong and healthy boundaries you don't trust this person because the way they handled the situation they walked away now they are very curious about you you didn't care of someone who has massive ego i can tell you that and they can be very very manipulative when it comes to emotions i feel that this person when you met them they they came across as someone who is really interested to kind of build a nice and healthy relationship they gave you all the indication like they were giving you a sign that this is what they want and they are seriously kind of taking this connect that they taking this connection very seriously 
but within time again it's like they lost they completely kind of went in a different direction and it, i feel it was shocking it was something unexpected we don't have a tower moment but i feel that it felt like a tower moment that this person caused to this connection but king of wands with the sun this is someone who has huge ego who f who feels that they are absolutely and completely irresistible that they are a catch that they have so much to offer that they are so beautiful handsome um that they are just you know most intelligent person this it's just it's like really it's like this person is convinced that they can win you back or win you over they can have you didn't care with someone who just thinks very very highly of themselves they are very very interested in you i can tell you that that's why i was quite surprised here that this energy is showing up through this oracle cards but the reason why it's showing up because this is someone here it wouldn't surprise me if during a new moon this person will 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 show up or they will reach out or you will meet them per you know per chance oh sorry by chance that's the right way of saying mm -hmm. this is someone who's planning who is curious who's observing you observing your activity if you have social media that's for sure strength that's your energy you know the sun that's your energy as well i don't know why i'm getting scorpio for some of you you might be dealing with scorpio leo or aquarius mm -hmm. or another leo indeed but strength here indicates that this person wants to approach you in a completely different way this is a card of diplomacy and showing like a completely different side more gentle side approaching things or people in a completely different way in order to present them you know it, this is this person wants to present themselves in a completely different light in order to kind of uh, gain your trust again but uh you are very um I feel that you are very cautious with the strength it's like you know this is a passive energy at the end of the day and i feel that you are keeping your cards very close to your chest chest if if you know if um if this person approach you i feel that you're going to kind of listen what they're about to say and i don't feel that you're going to give much back even when even during the conversation i feel that you will be just you know you'll be quite I feel that you just, I don't know, there is something about, okay, all right, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, what do you want me to do about it? But in a not kind of, you know, um, I don't know how to say it, in a kind of, um, you know, frustrated way, uh, you, you might say that, I feel you being very calm and very kind of collective and very... Um, very classy about the whole situation mm -hmm. very kind of you i feel that you'll be very again very calm and something about being very patient and being very diplomatic about the whole thing you are here in a position of advantage leah with the strength I'm getting very strongly that you know how to talk to this person because you possess all the knowledge about them. This is someone who is uh, at some point they're coming across over and over this over and over in the same way. And it's like you might be feeling this is the same old story and it feels like never ending blind date. And it's you might be coming from the places so it's so easy to read this person. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. Show me near future for Leo, please. Show me near near future for Leo, please. 
Okay. So we have justice, Libra energy, seven of seven of pentacles and three of wands and three of cups. Okay. Eleventh of July or third of July. Uh, something will will manifest and you'll have reasons to celebrate Leo I see you're spending a very nice time 7th of July as well I'm getting with your friend or with your friends you'll feel very happy but um, I'm, when I when I see when I see th these cards and overall energy for the near future I'm getting that in the next month at actually at the beginning of the next month I'm getting very strongly that something here will be resolved to your satisfaction because we have the card of celebration so you will you'll have reasons to celebrate there is something about justice if there is some sort of kind of legal situation and you might be feeling here Leo that you know it's been taking so long and it's like you might you might you might you might have you might be feeling that it's you know it's taking forever in order to kind of gain this resolution uh, you can be reassured that in the month of July something here uh, will be resolved okay finally and I see you being very happy regarding this particular matter with the three of wands I feel that you know you will see expansion growth and this thing suddenly will be within reach that you that you want very very much but I'm getting someone here, not someone here, something here, excuse me, something here might be, uh, might have been taken like seven months or even 11 months and it's like an ongoing situation and finally in the month of July it will, it will be resolved to your satisfaction, okay? If it's not a legal situation or anything of this kind, I, I'm with the justice, I see very strongly that justice you you receive it's like justice will be served your situation here will be treated with justice and fairness and with the seven of pentacles it feels like that you might have been waiting for a long time for this justice to finally uh, arrive for some of you it might be the case that someone wants to balance things out with you and finally it will happen and people uh, kind of will make amends if that's the case but I'm seeing with the seven of pentacles for some of you that in the month of July um, what I am getting that you might have been working very hard towards certain goal of yours and you've put so much dedication you've been very caring and very nurturing towards this goal of yours and because with the three of ones I feel that you truly want something it's like you have your eyes on the prize but I see again you have a very positive outcome irrespective of what this thing is so a month of July <laughs> will be the month of celebration of happiness and joy and finally it's like you will receive, for some of you, will receive a very positive karma, blessings from the universe. For, for, and yeah, I guess for a lot of you actually, but it will come in, a, of course, different form for every each of you, because of course, please take it how it resonates for your personal personal situation but uh, you can be reassured here that you will have reasons to celebrate and justice will be served beautiful energy Leo. show me the outcome for leo please show me the outcome for leo please the emperor might be dealing with aries you might be dealing with Divine Masculine, or you are Divine Masculine. Okay. Seven of Wands, Page of... Page of Pentacles. Five of Cups is an overall energy for this reading. Five of Cups as an overall energy for this reading might indicate that indeed, uh, something here still 
regarding I'm getting this energy, this situation to be precise, still kind of makes you feel sad momentarily. I feel that you are healing from it, but the circumstances that you might be in at the moment are not ideal, but it will change because we've established that, that you know, positive change is coming to you, especially at the beginning, at the beginning of the next month. But five of cups is suggest that, you know, that indeed there might be a still, or you might be, you know, uh, momentarily coming back to, uh, going back to this moment where you share this connection with this person. And it felt so good because five of cups is this energy of regret, but also kind of the feeling of lost opportunity for happiness because we have this ace of cups, which represents this opportunity for fulfillment. But um, you might feel that, you know, it's like, gosh, we really kind of, we were so good together. You know what I mean? And, 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 but it's like, why this person acted that way? Why they had to kind of, you know, uh, did certain things that really affected this connection. But again, I'm getting very strongly that rejection, it's a divine protection and you have nothing at the end to, uh, to be, it's like, I feel, I feel that, you know, it's, it's only natural to feel those emotions, but it's like you are healing because such a beautiful times, you know, are on the horizon for you. Five of Cups also indicates that someone here has regrets. Someone has regrets they might they might be not showing it and i can feel that this person has a very strong exterior and they might be you know trying it's like i'm getting this alpha male alpha female it's like you know they they might be acting in a sense that they don't care that they move on no they haven't mm -mm. no dear they haven't because they're showing up in your energy this is someone who's thinking about you and we've established here that you know this person wants to reach out. They are spying here on you. What I am getting very strongly in your outcome is that you might be indeed dealing with divine masculine um, who has been very kind of, uh, this person pushed you away with the seven of wands. But with the page of pentacles, uh, you can expect that this person will send you a very casual message meaning for instance they will say how how have you been or how how are the things you know what's going on you know something like this or simply just hello something like this this emperor here you might have blocked this person or they might have blocked you leo but if that's the case they will unblock you because they want to send this message for some of you i'm getting very strongly this is very strong kind of masculine energy for some of you this is like a situation i'm getting very strong kind of a father figure uh or again like a masculine energy and it's like you don't want to have anything to do with this person with the seven of wands and i feel that you know it's like everybody has a limit and I feel it's hugely connected with this energy. Everyone has a limit. And it's like with the page of pentacles, I feel that uh, you will kind of uh, draw a certain line and you will take a stand. And I feel that you're going with this page of pentacles. You will say at some point to person to the person involved with this in the, with with regards to the situation involving this individual. Uh, so for some of it might be a relative or sibling. I feel that you will say, listen, I've been doing all this work. I am very busy. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I can help, but don't expect much from me because I've been giving way too much already. And at the very beginning, it should have been equal give take. Uh, I was told that we're going to you know, share this responsibility equally together. And this is what I agree with, but the reality is completely different and I am tired. I'm tired, I am exhausted. I also need to focus on different things. And from now on, yes, I'm going to help, absolutely. But the dynamic and amount of responsibilities will change. Mm -hmm. 
very specific message. I know it might not resonate with all of you, but, but I'm getting that. I'm getting that sort of kind of message that you will just essentially will, will stand up for yourself and you'll just vocalize your opinions because it's too much. It's getting too much. It's draining. It's too much. It shouldn't be like this. You have other things to focus on and it feels like this, 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 this particular situation, metaphorically saying, it's consuming your time and energy. And at the very beginning, something here, it's like was agreed to be completely different. But uh, you, I've, I'm getting very strongly here for a lot of you that you kind of feel being, you know, uh, that your kindness somehow has been taken for weakness. And I feel that you have enough and you'll make a stand. You will. Very powerful reading, very empowering. You know, I'm seeing you, you know, irrespective of the circumstances, I'm seeing you being completely in control here, Leo. You know what you want and you are not afraid to, you know, to stand up for, for, for what you truly believe. And again, you are protected. You are protected. Your matters are under a lucky star. And your ancestors and, and your spiritual guides <laughs> and your... Um, guardian angels are working you know on your behalf behind the scenes expect uh miracles and and like a, miracles in the sense of beautiful blessings uh in at the beginning of the month of july to be precise leo i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly appreciate you Leo, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.